we thank you as a congregation this morning Lord we thank you we thank you over our pastor we thank you over his family we thank you over the pastor we thank you over the men over the women we thank you over the children father we thank you Lord we thank you because you have been good to us father we thank you for sustaining us we thank you for upholding us we thank you because we always do have access to step into your presence Thank you for this privilege, enormous privilege that you have given unto us. Father, we give you praise this morning. We give you praise this morning. Lord, we give you praise this morning. Lord, we give you praise this morning. Thank you, God, over every member of this house that applies the road. Thank you for joining mercies. Thank you for those that fly in the air. Thank you for a prosperous journey. Father, thank you for those who move upon the waters. Thank you because you have been their protector. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We give you praise this morning. And Father, we yield to you. We yield to your plans. We yield to your agenda. We yield to all that you have in stock for us here this morning. Father, we pray, O oh God, that our hearts will be receptive to that which you have for us. As your word goes forth in words, in song, in prayers, Father, we pray that our hearts will be receptive in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are bless your name. Glory be to your name, Lord, this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Are we excited to be in the house this morning? Can we jam our hands together for the Lord this morning? I think we can still do much better than that. Can we jam our hands together for the Lord? Get involved in making this nation called Nigeria great again. Can we lift up our voices? Lord, show me how to get involved in making this nation called Nigeria great again. In the name of Jesus, can we lift up our voice? Marcus the hand of Libra, those the in the Libahada. Father, this morning we call to you. Your word declares that the path of the just ought to be shining. 
right up out of thee. The same thing we believe for our nation. Lord, this morning we cry out in the mighty name of Jesus. Your agenda for this nation is that Nigeria will be great again. Nigeria will become a habitable place again. Nigeria will become one of the best countries to live in again. Lord, this is your plan and purpose concerning Nigeria. This we believe, O oh God, that the glory of the same nation will be greater than the former. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, this morning I'm asking that you will show me my part to play, how I can get involved in making this agenda come true. In the name of Jesus, Lord, this morning I pray that, Lord, you will show us in this house how to get involved in making this nation great again. In our corners, in our little, no matter where we are, Lord, show us. Lord, show us. Lord, show us in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning we ask of you. Lord, in whatsoever little way, Lord, in the name of Jesus, show us how to get involved in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you give me a guide to? It says in the seventh month on the 21st of the month the word of the lord came by a guy the prophet saying verse 2 speak now to zerubbabel the son of shittel governor of judah and to Je joshua the son of jehoshadak the high priest and the remnant of the people saying who is left among you who saw this temple in his former glory and how do you see it now in comparison with it is this not in your eyes as nothing please go back to verse 2 there's something i want to show you in verse 2 one of the things you need to understand when god is about to to change a nation three sets of people are involved for the rebuilding of this nation the first is the leader and that's why he said speak to zerubbabel who was the governor the leaders then who joshua who represents the church then the people those three pillars are important in the rebuilding of any great house or any great nation why the priest second chronicles chapter 7 says if my people who are called by my name we humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways he says then will i hear from heaven i will forgive their sins and i will heal their land so the church has a role to play in the rebuilding and making this nation great again our leaders have a place to pay play and you and i we have a role to play i hope you can see it from that passage secondly you are going to pray you might be thinking how can i get involved the bible spoke of nehemiah nehemiah was a cup bearer to the king in a strange land more or less he was a slave there because probably they were captured even if he was not a slave a cup bearer how much do you think a cup bearer ends for him to be thinking of rebuilding a nation but the bible says in second corinthians i think chapter 8 or 2 verse 8 it says when first there is what a willing heart when first 
there's what a willing heart then whatever is offered is acceptable from God this morning secondly you're going to pray this morning this is Lord strengthen my hands and the hands of all Nigerians and our leaders to rebuild to build this nation into a strong and virile nation can we lift up our voices to pray this morning Lord strengthen my hands and the hands of all Nigerians and our leaders to build this nation Of this nation in the name of Jesus, Lord, you strengthen the hand of the Rubabel in the name of Jesus for the rebuilding of your house. Lord, we ask of oh God in your agenda in to make this nation great again. Lord, strengthen our hands to build, strengthen our hands to build in the mighty name of Jesus, strengthen our hands to build in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray for yourself. By extension, God has a part for you to play in the rebuilding of this nation. But I want to bring out it down to us as a local assembly. God has an agenda for TBN. If not to play a major role in this nation at least to play a role in this state if not for this state at least for this city called the battle we have a role to play in the rebuilding and the reshaping of this city that is why god planted us here my question to you is this have you found your path in that god's agenda for this house or you are still playing church it's only you remember church or remember God only on Sundays pastor made some announcement last week of some of the projects we need to get involved in some models we begin, need to begin to set even in this city we all need to get involved we all need to begin to put our hands on the deck both within the house and the things we want to do outside the house the things we want to begin to do in the city by extension to the state by extension to the nation this morning i want you to pray lord in your agenda for the bridge network help me to find my calling help me to find my path in the name of Jesus come and lift up our voice enough of this sitting down enough of sitting down and not thinking of getting involved Nehemiah was just a cup bearer he was comfortable but the news of Judah or Jerusalem caught his heart he wept for many days
Ketuza ande libro doste higeri bahasa tunde ligerosta. Mari kosiando limbre dosto limbre hida rabahaya. Lord strengthen us, O God. Lord strengthen us. Strengthen us. His Bible says, Let the weak say I'm strong. Lord, we receive strength to begin to build. We receive strength to begin to execute in this land. We receive strength to begin to model in this city. That which you want, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, for each and every one of us under the sound of my voice and those that are watching online this morning. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that they receive strength to begin to make changes in their little corners in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray this morning in the name of Jesus. with God I see a difference in their life now and everybody who is never serious I see the results are you with me at all the results are showing so I have some of my friends who when we're in school fine we all go to fellowship but it's not serious and you can see it's not serious it won't come for midweek but they are meeting it won't come I'm seeing the results I'm seeing it now are you getting me at all so when I am still here and I see be believers behaving in the way people behave 10 years ago and I'm seeing, I'm seeing the result now, it breaks my heart. Because let me tell you something about God. There's no halfway with God. You are either there or you are not there. There's no half. Are you with me at all? So this month, they were doing audience of one. This teaching is so deep. And I'm believing God that God will open our eyes to see Obey it. Sometimes, eh? Believers come to church because of the beauty of the church. Church why am I fine? The ambience alone. Now, the guy's faith is on where? Ambience. Not on the word. You see why you have to be careful. Now, what pain means that a lot of uh, men of God don't see it. You've got to be careful. See what Paul was saying here. You've got to be careful. The thing people are seeing when you are teaching. Sometimes I want to say, Pastor, you need to rebrand, though. Because Pastor sometimes, when he's very excited, yeah, his talking will come out. I, have you not noticed? But you see, so that your faith is not resting on the dress of the man of God. So, man of God will say, I buy my suit in so so and so. The faith of the people is resting where? On the suit. On the suit. So, the only thing the young man is looking at is how to become to wear a suit. Not how to be a Christian. In the beginning was the word, and the word was his God, and the word was God.
sign to bear a witness of that light. He said, and this is the true light that lights every man that comes to this world. Now, if there is a true light, there is a fake light. This is the true light. That means it's possible as a believer. The light you think you have as Christianity is fake. That's why you see a lot of rubbish happening. A lot of rubbish. Why? Some people's light, the light. He said, if the light in you be darkness, how great is that darkness? Have you seen it in the Bible? So let me begin my message now. Audience of one. Audience of one. Audience of one. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt lost the server, with, uh, with, uh, where with shall it be sorted? It is therefore good for nothing, but cast out and turn it out uh, under feet of men. He said, you are the light of the world. A city set on the hill that cannot be what? On the hill cannot be hid. Now he said, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bush, but on a candlestick and it give a light unto everyone in the house. He said, let your light. So what? So shine. He didn't say, let your light shout. A lot of the PR we are doing is shouting, not shining. A lot of the PR we are doing is shouting. That's why there's no result. The shouting, not shining. Let's see the difference now. Light does not shout, it shines. We do one service. How can you do an, a service in one hour thirty minutes? Ah, you know I grew up in fellowship. Some of it, in campus fellowship, we can be in service for four hours. So instead of shining, they are shouting. Jesus Christ used to teach for hours. Don't you know? Ah, huh? you think you can teach in 30 minutes? First Peter chapter 3, verse 3. He said, Wives, in the same way. Now remember, when he said wives, all of us we are wives to who? To Christ. So he's talking to you, not just women. Because some men will be saying women there now. It's all of
I don't know if you understand me. Everybody will know the Lord shall supply all my needs. Everybody. But if you are not a believer, you will know some scriptures. Look at this scripture here. Paul was talking. He said, But when he pleased God to submit for mother's womb and called me by his grace, it to reveal his son in me that my preaching among, among the enemies. Immediately I conferred not with what? Not physical. I conferred not with flesh and blood. The challenge I have right now is that we are too bloody and fleshy. Now, look at what he said here. Now, listen to me. One day, I was, I was reading Facebook, and he said, Charlie Boy has given his life to Jesus Christ. Ha! Thank you, sir. Okay? Is that news? Between Charlie Boy and Paul, who should you announce more? Hello? You know Charlie Boy now? If you don't know him, it's not good. Write it down. <laughs> between Charlie Boy and Paul Paul was a But when they heard that he that prescribed the time pass now preaches the faith once he destroyed and they glorified what? You are what? You become an hypocrite. An hypocrite is a pretender. It's a pretender. Most of the time, when you come to church only on Sunday, you are just pretending to be in church. Prayer meeting, you will show up. You are pretending. People don't know. Listen to me. One time, Jesus Christ preached a message. That's why he pays me. When men of God only preach message that bring people to church, Christ preached a message and his disciples left. Some of you will leave church when I finish. Talk about when you hear message too much for you to become rich, for you to prosper, it's a problem. You should run away from church sometimes. Oh, you hear some art teaching. <laughs> Are you with me at all? So let's read. A person who pretends. And it's deceitful. Look at all the synonyms of hypocrite here.
Read it. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others. You know a man of God. I mean, do you know God personally that lets you know that what you are doing is not a waste of time and it's not tradition? Until you get to that stage, you are an hypocrite. You are wasting your time here. I'm telling you. You are wasting your time here. That's why there's no other place I go apart from here. <laughs> you know why? It's not only because of Pastor Francis. No, no, no. My belief is first in the world before, before anybody. It's the world. Now, the reason why you see some people come and hey, something is happening in that place, you have gone, and that is it's because you are not sure yet. When you are sure, you are staying with God, not with anybody. So I want you to ask yourself now Are you sure about this? Are you sure? Are you sure? Remember this guy, Shadrach, Mishnah, and Abednego. Can you remember those guys? They said, uh, King, listen to me, listen to me. Oh. Listen, King. We know our God will deliver us, oh. but even if he will not, we will not bat your God. That's be sure. Are you sure? Are you sure about this Christianity? It's just a joke. Are you sure? Because let me tell you something. A lot of believers who are not sure, you will see them falling away by the wayside as we are growing. You will see them compromising several things. You will see them. I see it. Because these are believers we've been together since primary school, secondary school. Guys, you have to be sure personally, not based on crowd. That's why I say audience of one. Personally, between you and God, are you sure? And the only place you can be sure is where? In the deep. So I'm also sing that song now. That God, take me deep. I want to be sure. Take me deep. Take me deeper into that place. Let me be sure of this thing I'm doing. Because when you are sure, everything is relevant. That God, take me deep. Take me deeper right now. Peter said, Lord, where will we go now? There's no other place to go. <laughs> we believe and we are sure. Why? Other, believe, other disciples went back now. That means they believe, but they are not sure. So you can believe, but you are not sure. Lord, take us deeper this morning. Take us deeper. We need to be sure on a one on one, not with a crowd. On a one on one with you. To be sure. Please, are you with me at all? Can you be on our feet very far? Just pray. Can you be on our feet? If you can stand, if you can't stand, sit down, no problem. Father, I need to be sure. Take us deep there, deep there, deep there. Deep there, where we'll be sure. Spirit, take us deep. Where we can be sure. Where our foundation can be sure. And my faith will be made stronger in the prayer. Father, my feet will never wander, and my 
say this for you guys maybe you understand me clearly the difference between believers is that sure some are sure some are just acting you know following other people to come now let me tell you the difference you see being sure doesn't just happen by mistake oh, it's like building a foundation then the foundation becomes what sure sure foundation are you getting me like Burj Khalifa sure so it's not it doesn't just happen it's a deliberate process now how come peter and co were sure and others were not sure let me tell you why a lot of times christ does general to say everybody teach 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 but when he's with his disciples he tells them some deep things listen to me sometimes you can't be sure in church self you need to take one on one with God personally. Are you following me at all? You have to be hungry enough to God that they can't be having prayer meeting here and you'll be at home watching what it is to be. Those are the ways to become sure. It's a process. Be sure it's a process. Every meeting they were there, they became sure. You need to pray sacrifice for the world. I'm telling you sacrifice for the world then you become sure if not you are hypocrite you are just following them and guess what the result shows so I want you to talk to God now that God make some decisions You are coming, you don't sit down. Make up your mind now. I say, God, I'm ready to change this way I'm behaving. I want to be following you close market like this. That's the way to become sure. So, God, take us deeper now, Lord. So, sing that song and make it decisions in your heart. That Lord, I want to be following you close market. Lord, take us deeper this morning. Lord, take us deeper this morning. We need to be sure. We need to be sure. Take me deeper. Lord, take us deeper.
you sent your word and it healed them and it delivered them from their destruction father anybody that need deliverance now i see them being delivered everything that is disturbing people from adding to their faith virtue knowledge long suffering virtues father by the word i see them destroyed in jesus name I see them destroyed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for doing it. Everybody that needs healing, receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Because He sent His word. He sent His word. And it healed them. Both physically and mentally, spiritually. Let men be healed right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for doing it. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. Body. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of you, you only see me when I take service maybe twice a year. Right? I'm not always this very serious. So you know that. Right? Uh, I do mostly business trainings. When I teach like this, you will know it's not the man of God kind of teaching. You know, I'm teaching you stuff I've been able to eat for personally. But next week Sunday, first half, no, not next week. Well, next week you should be there. But in two weeks' time, two weeks' time, I'll be taking a training here on e-currencies, e-currencies, cryptocurrencies, and uh, there's a probability if the miracle of Bitcoin happens again, you should become a millionaire. Hello, are you with me? You see, my major topic is money. The only thing is I don't love it. I like it. Because love of money is evil. But money is very important in life. The only thing that computer with God in the Bible is money. So you know. So money is important. And you see, there is nothing I love in my life like seeing people progress financially. I love it. I love it. So next week, two weeks time, precisely I think 13th or so. Is it 13th? Is it 20th? Two weeks time. Two weeks Sunday. Because you have brought him here for signs and wonders. Lord, we bless you, O oh God, because we know that you have called him out to be great, that he is destined for a future, Lord, that one that we cannot even imagine because eyes have not seen and ears have had not heard. So, Lord, we thank you, O oh God, that he will fulfill the destiny that is upon his life. We thank you that the calling upon his life that he has called out to be a peculiar person. You have called him to be a royal priesthood. And, Father, we thank you and we bless you. We thank you for all the friends that are gathered that be around him, O oh God, that they will come with godly counsel to speak a word into his life. We thank you that he would be, O oh God, the head and not the tail, always above and never beneath. You have caused him to be a lender to nations and never a borrower, O oh God. We thank you that he would stand upon uh, with his peers, above his peers, head and shoulders, O oh God. Father, we thank you that he would be a ruler in his nation. Lord, we thank you that he will be a voice of his people, a voice of you, Lord. So, Father, we thank you for his parents, that they will continue to guide him, continue to construct him in the ways of you. We thank you because they've dedicated you to him today, to you, that, Lord, that he will not depart from you, that, Father, that he would serve you all the days of his life, Father. We thank you that he would never give his parents any keys, reason to regret, any tears of sorrow. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for this day. We thank you for all the friends that come to rejoice to them that even as they have come today lord that they will continue to be upon this family side to raise this child up in your way in your will in your word so father we thank you we bless you we're so grateful that we have a reason to celebrate father we thank you oh god that you have given us this day to look our eyes upon you with thanksgiving with joy we bless you lord in jesus name amen we anoint you with oil and we separate you from this world to God Almighty in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. The choir. Oh, see, mommy, got there, 
Amen. Amen. Just quickly, let's listen to this following announcement. Next week Sunday is Mother's Day. And the women are, it's only Ms. Okutiang that is excited. Next week Sunday is Mother's Day. So our mothers will be hosting us. They will be hosting the service next week Sunday. Uh, please, please let's be informed. Uh, the attire or the the color. I'm trying to look for Mrs. Okay, since she's not around, the color of, for the women next week Sunday is white and pink. I don't know whether it is baby pink, fuchsia pink, cockroach pink. You know there are several colors nowadays, but it is white and pink. So please let's be beautifully dressed. Uh, it's important. It's important. Let's be well dressed. Let's be beautifully dressed as we celebrate our mothers next week Sunday. So our mothers, our women will be handling both services next week Sunday. Please let's be here. Let's also be here to support them. As Pastor Kuli announced earlier, what we've done with our Real Success Seminar every Sunday at 8 o'clock now is to rebrand it to teach practical things that we can make use of to begin to generate income, if not fully, but on the side. On the side. This morning, they talked about um, using the internet to generate income. So please, and next week Sunday, I know the women will also be going in that direction to teach us practical things that we can do to begin to generate income on the side. The theme is skills to pay the bills. Skills to pay the bills. Also at the network service, uh, which Pastor Kunli opened this morning, we're looking at the theme, the audience of one. To whom are we living for? Very important. And our midweek activities on Wednesday, we have our, we have our house of prayer and word bank this Wednesday from 5 p.m. in the evening as we come together to pray, to fellowship together, and to worship the Lord. The theme is led by the Spirit. Led by the Spirit. And also, that same Wednesday for our children, we have the Kids and Teens Vision House and Life Skills. And this particular year, we're looking at the habits for the children. That's what they're studying. And for this month, we are looking at how habits can help them or can help us be productive. How habits can help us be productive please let's bring our children let them come to learn also you and god bless the blessing that he has given unto you if you're worshiping with us for the first time we must do this before we leave service this is your first time in church can you just honor us while you stand on your feet this afternoon this is your first time in church this is your first time at the bridge network can you just honor us by standing on your feet this morning anyone worshiping with us for thank you very much my dear brother Please let's appreciate him. Thank you very, very much. Let's welcome him, those around him. Thank you very much, my sister on the far uh, side there. Thank you very, very much for coming. Please, ushers, let's uh, direct them to the first timers corner to welcome them appropriately. Please, let's just take them to where they welcome them appropriately. I think it's been a great service this morning it's been a charge that we've been left with this morning can we rise to our feet as i want us to just do this we will just take if you have the you can't project the song oh, all right I, want, I actually wanted us to just take that spirit lead me portion of the song and afterwards we just share the grace as a prayer as a prayer this maybe the, the choristers can just help us with it, well, let's just follow while we also pray.